welcome to vlogmas day eight and i hope you guys are all well so it's currently monday today and me and shane had the weekend just doing the bath while shane worked mainly on the bath and i was just doing the house chores and i had to pop out to get a few bits um, because i want to make some lactation cookies i think that's what they're called so i'm hoping to make those today little bubba is currently sleeping my little cutie it's not really focusing my little cutie always has to have his arms out we woke up at 6 30 today and he was asleep from 11 to 6 30 this morning which was awesome um, I did wake up in the middle of the night thinking I'm probably going to be awake soon for his night feed and then I just fell asleep and Shane got up to go to work and I was like I haven't woken up for a night feed today and I was like is he okay um, so I looked at him and he was he was fine he was just still sleeping and he didn't even wake up when Shane was getting ready to go to work and um, so he woke up at 6 30 and we came downstairs he had a feed and now he's back asleep so yeah the perks of being a baby um but i'm going to use this time to just catch up on my programs and have some breakfast i've already got dressed so i've just got dressed into my painting clothes because i am hoping to prime the paneling in the ensuite today because shane finished the paneling off yesterday so my job is to um prime it today because i normally do the caulking and priming but shane bless him he did all the caulking yesterday and he really worked hard on the bathroom shane actually didn't have a weekend at all um so yeah i don't even think he felt like he had a day off we woke up super early on both the days and we just got things done and that's the way life is once you buy your own house i suppose um, but now I'm going to have some breakfast and I'm also going to catch up on a few programs and then hopefully I want to make these lactation cookies and also prime the bathroom like I said I'm not sure which order I'm going to do it in it all depends on how Ari is um, but I'm pretty sure he's going to sleep for about three hours so I'm just going to take it easy this morning because it's still very early it's only quarter past eight at the moment so i've just done some editing and i also catched up on my programs it's now five past ten and i'm going to attempt to make these lactation cookies um i think ari should sleep for another hour he's still sleeping at the moment um he's fast asleep i'm hoping i get one more hour from him Baba, my little cutie. But yeah, I'm gonna try and attempt to make these lactation cookies while he's still sleeping, and then I think we're gonna pop to Aldi because I need to get a couple of gallons of um, water. Sorry about my wispy bits. I've always, I'm always touching my hair in my videos. I've noticed that. Um, but. Yeah, we need to get a couple of gallons of water because Shane's going to be turning off the water tonight for tomorrow because hopefully we'll be getting that tile replaced tomorrow but he's coming around lunchtime so Shane has to turn off the water tonight for tomorrow because Shane's going to be at work and I'm going to be home alone and I just need water to keep me going for the day so I'm going to get a couple of gallons just for like drinking and using and cooking and all that stuff and then i will probably fill his bath bucket up just for washing hands and in case we need water for like the toilet um things like that so i'll fill his bath bucket up because that's the only bucket i have really <laughs> so let's go make these lactation cookies okay so we're going to start so i'm going to get the recipe up and we are going to preheat the oven So the oven is done. So in a large bowl, whisk together oats, flour, yeast. So we need three cups of rolled oats. Two 
cups of flour. I've already just started and I feel like I've made a huge mess. Like baking is really not my thing. But I would like to get into it. But we're gonna give this a go. And I think I might have needed a bigger bowl because I don't know how I'm gonna whisk this all in. Yeah. Five tablespoons. So this is what the lactation is basically for. I'm not even sure if that last clip was even recording because my camera's just turned off. But yeah, um, so I've just put in five tablespoons of brewer's yeast. And that's just a source of a vitamin B. Three tablespoons of flax seeds. Half a teaspoon of baking powder. Uh oh, I think Ari is awake. Half a teaspoon of just done baking powder, of soda, soda powder now. Also need half a teaspoon of cinnamon. A little bit more of cinnamon because I love a bit of cinnamon. A quarter teaspoon of salt. isn't going to be the electric whisk. So we're gonna just mix that all together. Maybe I should have just used a spoon. He is still sleeping. He's just making noises in his sleep. Oh my God, it's really raining. Look how dark it got in here. I've had to put the lights on. I feel like baking is one of those things where I make more mess than I'll actually bake. And it probably won't even turn out good. So um, yeah, I really need to up my game on baking. If you guys watched my last year's Vlogmas, you would have known that I tried to make these shortbread things and they turned out really bad. I'm gonna blame the oven on that because the oven just, you could set it at any temperature and it would just burn everything. So yeah, I'm gonna blame that. So we've done that, so we put that to one side. We're gonna move on to the next thing. Let's have a little bit of a clean up. I don't really like working in a mess. Let's go throw this in the bin. How are you supposed to measure 12 tablespoons of organic unsalted butter? Really? 12? That's about 12 teaspoons, I mean tablespoons. <coughs> you, that's not 12. Well, let's just put the whole thing in. I think we needed more, but that's all I have, unfortunately. Four tablespoons of coconut oil. Now we need to use our electric whisk to do this. So before I go any further, I need to go and see to Ari. Look how dark it is in here. I've had to put the lights on now. And it's only 10.30 in the morning. Baby Ari is awake. Hi. Hi. This is what he does when he wakes up. He just throws his blanket off. Are you gonna smile for the camera? Are you gonna smile? No, you're not impressed. He's like, just feed me, mummy. Feed me. We gotta change your nappy first. We're gonna do a quick nappy change and then I'm going to probably feed him for the next hour and then I'll go back to my baking. So we're gonna try and go back to baking. Just fed Ari and I've put him next to me so that I can keep an eye on him. 
and he is currently sucking on his dummy because after his milk is probably the only time he takes his dummy for about five minutes before he spits it out um the weather's changed again nice and sunny turn the lights off and we're gonna go back into baking so i've never actually used a electric whisk so um this is the first time so god help me i think that's in well, that works <laughs> right so we have to um mix this together let's just double check that trying to whisk butter together and how is that possible we're trying to lower it. okay let's try it again Okay, we're getting somewhere, but this is not fun at all. I feel like my bowl's gonna go flying. creamy now so we're gonna go with that and then so two cups of sugar that is a lot of sugar wow I definitely needed a bigger bowl that will be on my shopping list to get a bigger bowl this together and I don't know if it's going to go flying. Oh my god, I definitely need to get a bigger bowl. I think I need to get a bigger bowl because this is just not working. But this is all I have to do it in so um, let's try and put it into that. I told you baking is not my thing. <laughs> kitchen for baby. The mess is unbelievable. Like I don't deal with mess very well and this is messy. Well let's hope this works now. That's better. So now I have to add one egg and one egg yolk. So never done this before either. So one egg. Oh. Just leave that in there. And then this bit, I have no idea how to do. One egg yolk. I 
And now we have to add the vanilla extract. Two teaspoons. And mix that together. It says beat together. It just beat me. I'm just gonna use this. And then gradually add in your dry stuff. Right, I'm not sure if this is looking right. Oh my god, look at the state of my hair. Uh, but this is what it's looking like. If you guys can see. It smells good, I just don't know if it's right. I don't know if it's the right texture. So I'm going to just try and crack on. Ari is getting a little bit cranky. Oh, what's the matter? What happened to you? Ari has the hiccups at the moment, so I don't think he's going to last very long in his chair anymore because he gets cranky with the hiccups. So I'm just going to quickly try and finish this off. So add in the chocolate chips now. Two cups. Two cups. This is a lot. My camera is currently flashing at me, so I probably won't be able to finish this off with you, but I will show you the end result. The haircuts are annoying, are they? Mummy's nearly done. Mummy's nearly done. Mummy's gonna pick you up in a second. Yeah. I think me and Ari are both having a bad hair day today. It is what it is. But this one is asleep now on me um we gave him a nappy change and also walked around the island for about five minutes before he fell asleep and i managed to bake my lactation cookies i don't know if you can see this now because it's dark outside and raining again but here they are so i only did nine for now because i didn't know how they were going to turn out i wasn't sure if the texture was right but the rest is still there so i'll bake them later but i need to do the taste test first just to make sure they are okay um, but I put them in the oven for about, it said 15 minutes, but because they're quite big, I was like, I'm going to give them an extra five minutes. I gave them an extra five minutes because they look really soft. And um, so I gave them 20 minutes in the oven and that's how they turned out. They look good. And I'm not going to lie, the whole house smells so good. I would like to do more baking, but I just need to perfect it first. <laughs> Once these are cooled down, we're going to do the taste test and see what they actually taste like because because I don't know, they could be gooey in the middle and not actually cook properly, so we'll do the taste test before. But we are having the weirdest day today. It keeps raining one minute, then the sun is out, and now it's currently raining and it's so dark and gloomy. Um, so we're going to leave going to Aldi till a bit later. While he's sleeping now, I'm going to try and prime the panelling upstairs. But I'm just going to take 10 minutes to myself and just settle this one properly because he's kind of just gone to sleep. So once he's in a deep sleep, I'll go upstairs and start painting. I would normally take him upstairs with me, but I'm going to leave him downstairs because I don't want him to inhale all the paint smells. Um, and then I'll just have the window open for the day so that um, the smells can go out. <laughs> hands are always in his face <laughs> okay so baby ari had woken up and we have been just trying to settle him i have fed him more and now we are going to do the taste test so i don't know which one to go for but we are just going to pick a random one i'm gonna go for this one because it's got a lot more chocolate on it They taste good. I mean, I have nothing to compare it to because I've never tried them before. So I don't know what they're supposed to taste like or what the texture is supposed to be like. But I know the ingredients in there is meant to be good for me. So that's why I've made them. They 
They look okay. I think they're good. I think they're not bad. I think they're good, but next time I will be measuring out the butter properly because I'm not sure if I've put enough butter in it. Well, I should say good evening. I ended up falling asleep with Ari on the sofa and I have just gotten up a little while ago and it was well needed considering I was up from 6.30 in the morning. I kind of just needed that nap and it was lovely. I feel so much better for it. Um, to be honest, I couldn't keep my eyes open earlier, but I still haven't been able to prime that wood. And I feel like now I've had a nap with Ari, Ari's going to be up soon and I still won't get it done till this evening, um, but it's fine. I'll get some of it done, I promise. Um, but before I fell asleep while my camera was charging, I received a parcel and I'm going to open this with you guys now because I think I know who it's from, um, but I'm not sure. So I'm gonna open it with you guys. I'm just gonna remove my address first. Okay, I just had to cut a hole in it, <laughs> but we're gonna open it together and see what's actually in here. I don't think it is from the person I thought it was from. Oh, it is. And I ordered these really nice stockings from my friend, Hanim. She made these beautiful stockings for me. I saw them on her Instagram and I was like, I have to have these. So I placed an order for myself, Ari and Shane. So these are the stockings and I thought I love this like, um, what do you call this again? Um, forgotten the name. I feel like I had the worst memory before and now I've even got a worse memory after having a baby. Okay, I can't actually remember the um, name for this material but I will put it on the screen somewhere if I remember it. Um, but I just love this stuff. Um, I just find it, it looks so neutral and it's also a like a really nice country feel to the house. So yeah, so that's why I went for these. I was looking on Amazon just before I placed this order um, for stockings and I just didn't like any and I was about to buy some that I didn't really like. But then I came across these ones and I was like, yes, these are the ones. So I ordered a mum one. And then I've also got an Ari and Dad. And I just see the cat just come up to the window because she wants to be fed. But they're so, so nice. I love them, I love them, I love them. I can't wait to put these up on fireplace. So yeah, they're so nice, I love them. And bless her, she's also sent Ari a present as well. So that's really sweet of her. She didn't have to, but me and Hanim have been friends for we worked this out, I can't remember if it was 18 years or 13 years or 15 years, one of the three. Um, but we've been friends for so long and it's just such a shame that I'm so far away. Oh my goodness, this is absolutely adorable. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I want to put him in this already. Oh my God, what size is this? Because I want to put him in there. Zero to three months. I think he might be able to fit this soon. <gasps> oh my God, I absolutely love it. Oh my God. And she's also sent some pajamas as well. Oh, they are adorable with some Christmas socks. They are so nice. Thank you so much, Hanim, if you are watching. I really appreciate everything, but these were um, bought and the, the um, clothing was sent to me. She does loads of custom things. So I'm gonna stop rambling on because I've got heaps to do before Ori wakes up. So I'm gonna try and pop these up and then I am going to try and get upstairs and start this um, paneling, like painting this paneling because I'm just not getting anywhere, honestly. I love this, this is so cute. I can't wait to put him in this. I'm gonna wake him up, put him in there, but I have so much to do right now that I can't. So yeah, crack on, crack on. The kitty cat wants to be fed. She wants to be fed. Honestly, she will stay out here until I fed her. I can't do it right now. I'll feed you in a bit, okay? Or you can go home and eat. 
because your mummy and daddy put food out for you and you don't eat there because he told me. Yeah. I think she likes my food better. <laughs> You always find the neighbours or someone else's food better. Do you know what? I haven't even put on the Christmas lights today. Like, how is that possible? I know why I didn't, because I was planning to go to Aldi. But plans have changed. The guy for the tile isn't coming until Thursday now. So, um, he'll be out on Thursday to do that. So, I don't need to go to Aldi. So, I'm going to pop these up. love them so so much they look so good so i've put mum and dad on that side and i've also put ari on that side so once we have another baby we could add it to this one hopefully she still does them then <laughs> be it that's a, another reason why i wanted to do this because i can just get them added um if we have any more babies but they're so cute i love it i absolutely love it Ari is actually waking up. Aren't you? You waking up? Yeah, you're waking up. You're a big boy sleeping in the big blanket. <laughs> you should see him in our bed. He looks like nothing in our bed. Like you're like, where is Ari? <laughs> He's like this tiny little thing in this massive bed. But I add him into the bed when Shane goes to work sometimes if I want to get some more sleep. But um, but normally once I wake up for his second feed, I normally stay downstairs and try and get a nap in the day. But I was saying to Shane uh, yesterday, I was like, I know they stay in nap with the baby. I just don't get time to nap with the baby. Like when he sleeps, I have to do housework. I have to go out and get stuff. Like I don't know how I'm supposed to nap with him when he naps like it's not possible so i've decided i'm gonna try and leave like my shopping bits and stuff to the weekend because during the week i can just do like the housework on his first nap and then i can nap with him on his second nap but on the weekends i can just go and do my like shopping bits and then come home and still nap so yeah i mean i think i'm gonna start doing that so that i can wake up with him in the mornings on the weekend go and have a nice lazy start to the day and then me and him will go out and do our few things that we need to go and get and then come home and nap and then it's dinner time and then time to go to bed i suppose um so yeah i think i'm gonna leave that to the weekend because i i was saying to shane that i'm tired of just not doing anything on the weekends all our time goes into this house like this house has taken up a lot of our time and i would like to just do some like family things and go out for the day even if it's just for a walk or just going shopping together. Like me and Shane hardly spend any time together. I know we see each other every day, but like I start doing my like house chores while he plays with Ari. And then by the time you know it, it's bedtime. And then bedtime comes and then we sleep and then he goes to work and then I don't see him. And then he comes, it's just a routine at the moment. And we're not really spending time together, like just to do things together. And enjoy that moment so um yeah we definitely are looking forward to doing more things once this bathroom is done because then we're going to give it a break in the house for a while but i think it's one of those things when you buy a house you're constantly constantly doing work on it um so there's never an ending so i've just realized that i've been talking to you guys for about 20 minutes with chocolate on my face uh i need to find the light give me one second there we go so yeah, I've been talking to you guys with chocolate on my face and I was vlogging the other day and I realised that I hadn't um, blended in my contour, which I've spoken to you guys about before, that I always leave a bit of my contour on my jawline and yeah. And it's just becoming the story of my life at the moment. I should really look in the mirror before I start vlogging. Right, so I'm going to start painting them. <laughs> 